All right. Scroll down. Speed. Camera. Camera is rolling. Do you see this? Yeah. Scene one, take one. All right, on set, we're rolling. And. Era, and I'm playing Mickey Hansen. I'm Charlotte Kirk and I'm playing Chloe. Michael Rispoli and I play Ray Ferguson in The Depths. I got a call from my manager actually who told me that this young screenwriter, filmmaker named Jameson Locasio had a script and he wanted me to read it. That and I looked at his shorts and they were great and each one was better and better and better as it went on and this was his first feature length. And I read the script and I thought it was terrific, so I met up with Jameson and uh, he was terrific and organized and he had vision and I said, okay, pal, I'll do it. I read for Chloe and spoke to Jameson on the phone, the director, who we just connected right away and was on the phone for like an hour and a half talking about the film and the character and the script and it just kind of just came together so natural. The Depths is a script that was written by Jameson Locasio and Robert Spat. It's a psychological thriller and has to do with a relationship between two friends. Old friends, they work together, they have a bond. It's, a, it's sort of a brotherly bond, an older brother, younger brother dynamic. Mickey's kind of starting out in his life a little bit, still trying to figure out what he wants to do. Ray has already had a, a number of failures in his life, so he's going, you know what, I'm gonna write this script, and Mickey, you and I, we're gonna write it together, and so we figure we're gonna write it together, and all great things are gonna come from it. They're finishing the first script, uh, they've been working it for two years, and they get an opportunity to pitch to someone. But in this business of screenplays and getting movies made and stuff, of course, there's big uh, disappointment. Uh, major disappointment uh, that causes them to have a rift and split up, and then it's the depths that in which they sink in order to get their dream made. This is really a, a story about friendship and almost almost beyond that to like a brother brotherhood. The Depths is a study of a the relationship between Mickey and my character, Ray, what Ray wants in his life. This is Ray's like last chance to do something good and right with his life. Mickey's kind of coming along for the ride and he wants it too, but he might not be as prepared, you know, uh, and able to do it. This causes a frustration in Ray. He's got a temper on him, you know? He, he can be prone to throwing some fits and getting really, you know, pissed off. And, uh, you know, we're not sure what trigger sets him off kind of things. Got jealousy issues and I want it right now, right now, right now. And then you just take it further to that point where it's kind of like, it's now or never, I'll fucking kill somebody. Acting wise, it's easy working with uh, Patch and uh, it's easy working with Jameson as the director. Michael Vespoli is an incredible actor and it was an incredible opportunity to get to work with him and to have that dynamic. The truth is, uh, Jameson's terrific. He's, um, he's young, he's unaffected, uh, he's like, can do, let's try it, let's do it. He's got a real give and take with the actors and with his whole crew yet he still uh, keeps control of everything. He's a very positive feeling on the set. He's so energetic and he knows what he wants and he's, he's always so sweet. Even if I, even if I know maybe I didn't do it quite right, he'll still say great because he's, he's so polite and courteous. Go! Great! Great, guys, that's great. Great, sound? Tell me the camera. He had the whole thing storyboarded. Um, you know, but then you get there and it's a living thing and you want to, you know, you want to see what's really happening and he's been really open to, uh, you know, us trying new things, seeing what's happening, what we're going to find the movie together. It's very much appreciated by actors. One can have an input as an actor and Jameson's been great with that. Yet he also makes sure that he keeps his through line and his vision, so it's been great working with Jameson. He's got an old soul and he's going to be around for a long time doing lots more films. Over the alleyway. When the story gets fucking break, 
I've learned so much about how I can die, I'm afraid to fucking live! If you ever really want to sell this spirit, Yeah, no, no, as long as there's that pull. Change. That's pull, and that's like, you know, you either you do or you don't. But I'm going, you know? I like that. I've learned about murder, murder weapons, blood spatter, serial killing. And I've learned more! My point is... Don't I gotta fucking do that? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I really don't know why that is happening. Well, the reason I, uh, I said yes to the film is because I read it and I really liked it and I said, wow, uh, this kid wrote this really good, you know, really good. I'd like to meet him. Well, one of the reasons I said yes to the film is because I've never been the lead in the film, so um, that's been a really exciting challenge to, uh, you know, just, I mean, on just a purely physical level, just to show up and be doing mostly night shoots, so... Uh, you can kind of hear it in my voice right now. Again, he had a vision for the film and the way he wanted to shoot it. And I said, wow, this, he's on top of everything. Okay, fine, as long as I'm free, you know, when we shoot it, because he says just a couple weeks. And luckily I was free. It's, a, it's sort of an original piece. It's got a little bit of film noir. It's also got a little bit of like Mean Streets, like 70s, early Scorsese kind of feel to it. I haven't really done a thriller drama like this. It's so deep and I can really immerse myself in any character. So when I read the role of Chloe in the script, it's very dark and, and you really have to just jump all in. There's something about this uh, Mickey character. He's a, a very... Uh, fun-loving person, he's very uh, mischievous and funny, very, very um, in the moment. I really liked the dynamic with him and Ray, they're two very different characters, but they get each other because they, they get that they, you know, they come from the same neighborhood, they, they, uh, you know, they understand um, the desire to be taken seriously, the desire to get out, the desire to create something. Uh, but Mickey's much more the uh, finesse and the swagger and Ray's much more the structure and substance, that's it. Cut! You know, it's challenging, we're about to shoot this big fight sequence. That's a big challenge. Some of the montage stuff that um, may seem easy and fun, but like, you know, how do you get it to feel like 15 people or 20 people in this bar are dancing, you know, all afternoon for both take after take after take? Great, that was great. Um, and the director and uh, the actor, Patra, is working with, I think it was also so our first time doing sex scene. But it was. It was challenging in a good way, because it was a new thing for me. So I'll probably say that as aspect was, but it was great. It was fun. I think that we are making the very most with what we've got, and the story is going to come through, the performances are going to come through, the ingenuity of the director and the crew is all going to be out there on the screen, and that's going to just go boom, it's going to blow up. I have no idea what to expect, because again, I've never really been in this position. So this is a, this is a new territory. I mean, I would hope that people, that it'll get out there, that people see it, that people like it. I hope and I know it's going to go to the Tyler Festivals, it's going to win a bunch of awards. I think it's going to do great. I think it's going to be inspiring to other filmmakers, and they're going to say, wow, we can make a film like that? on that budget and that amount of time, you know, that's what's exciting, you know, that's the whole exciting thing. So I think there's gonna be um, a great response to this film, a great welcoming. It's been really cool working with a lot of um, passionate young people who are, you know, everyone's trying to find their way and um, it's exciting to feel like you're part of a group that is committed to um, learning and getting better every day. I couldn't have asked for a better team. The director, the actors, Michael, Patch. <sighs> Fucking amazing actors for one. Um, the way they just jump in and in and out so quick. We're laughing and joking one minute and bang, we're all green characters, amazing. And Jameson, the whole team, everyone's so lovely and polite. Um, no, I just love the fact that they're working with such talented, experienced actors is amazing. There's a lot of young people who make up the crew. And I sound like I'm an old man, but I've been around a long time. And everybody's in their early 20s, and everybody shows up ready to work, bright, chipper, prepared. And that's what's been great. And it's shown me a whole lot. Um, because, 
you know, you do films that are hundred million dollar budgets, two hundred million dollar budgets. You do films that are forty million dollar budgets, and then you do a film like this, which is one that is all about doing it, you know, for the love of the film and for the the love of the art of filmmaking. So what I what I've really enjoyed about doing this film is coming to the set each day and everybody trying their very best to get the film yeah. done and get it done right within the confines of the budget, within the confines of the time we have to shoot it. It's like off, off, off Broadway kind of stuff, but you can do your most exciting stuff, you know, off, off, off Broadway. So, and I do want to say one last thing about coming to work every day, which is great. In, in something like this, you know, just like with off, off, off Broadway or whatever, um, you gotta, you gotta have a generosity of spirit. Um, everybody's gotta, you know, show up and say, okay, I'll give everything I can. I'll give everything I can. It's not the paycheck. It's not, uh, it's not the credit. It's not any of that. It's just kind of like, let's get together and do a film. It's that generosity of spirit that makes all independent films flourish, you know, and that's what makes it exciting for everybody in the next filmmaker, in the next one, and the next one, who's ever got an idea, who's ever got the creativity, and they say, hey, I want to try it this way, and you say, yeah, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. That's what's exciting about this whole experience. Cool. Not bad. That was pretty that was awesome. <laughs>